Hi everybody, I'm Shane and today we're going to be demonstrating the uh, capabilities of our heavy duty utility mower. This is a mower that's kind of a hybrid between our heavy duty mowers and our standard duty mowers. So it has uh, a deck construction that's built heavier like our heavy mowers and the drive components have a direct drive uh, bearing carrier with an Eaton 4000 series motor and we're using a two blade spindle uh, design with a stump jumper on it. So it's going to have really good cutting uh, characteristics in grass and brush and still be able to handle the small trees and saplings like our standard duty mowers but it'll have the heavier duty uh, frame on it so you can if you get into some heavier trees or heavier conditions you don't have to worry about stretching or twisting or bending anything so um, basically this is new for uh, 2019 uh, we have an upgraded valve block with check valve and relief valve in it for uh, braking. And today we're going to be running it on a Kubota 75. And we're going to do most of our cutting on standard flow here. That's 21 gallons a minute or 20.9 I think. With a line pressure of 3,300 PSI. And we'll maybe do some videos later with it on high flow which is about 30 gallons per minute. And just we'll, we'll just try to see if there's any difference in the performance. But I expect really good cutting uh, characteristics here even on standard flow. So uh, we advertise that this will handle 18 to 30 gallons per minute. So on this skid steer we can run it either way on standard or high flow. So let's uh, start with some grass and brush and then we'll move on to some heavier stuff. Let's get to it. Okay, so we just got done mowing some more brush and grass on low flow. Uh, here we're mowing with uh, only about 20, 21 gallons per minute on this Kubota. Um, I noticed that there was a clump of small willow here and that was, that took quite a job to get through that. That was, uh, willow's kind of a, again, kind of a tougher, uh, wiry kind of a material to cut. Um, I wanted to point out that this area that we're uh, cutting here is probably an old CRP field. And there's a lot of old gopher mounds and I noticed uh, the difference between the other mower that we ran last week that had the float and tilt system on it where the deck is free to uh, flex. Here we're running a, a standard type mower deck which is rigid and a rigid mower deck works fine uh, for cutting even this type of material but you can see what can happen is uh, you can occasionally scalp the ground and mow off some dirt or grass. Uh, not a big deal usually but just something to be aware of. Uh, running a mower with the float and tilt is a big advantage in the uneven terrain like this because the mower is always staying down low and in contact with the with the grass so you get probably a cleaner finish. It looks probably better at the end. Okay so we just got done uh, cutting down a clump of English buckthorn bush and there was probably 10 different stems growing out of this and uh, I was doing this on low flow and so the performance was lower than what I would like but the reason for that is because uh, English buckthorn is an extremely tough wood it's it's not necessarily hard but it's it's hard to break off you can see even with this little twig how hard it is for me to break it off so uh, this is where a higher tip speed works better in this kind of tougher wood also when you're cutting brush off and it's larger stuff and I was trying to cut it off higher what happens is you hit that that piece of brush and it just bends instead of cutting it so it's stealing all your energy and you, it's more prone to stalling the mower but so this is uh, a really extreme case of something that you'd be cutting with this mower you could tell once I got closer to the ground and the stems 
were held tighter because they're near the ground there, it cut it off a lot easier. Because again, it's not doing that bending motion. Um, so this is really nasty stuff to mow. Um, if you're gonna do a lot of this, you should really have a high performance mower on running on high flow. But uh, even a low flow mower like this can take it down and, and make it manageable. Okay, so we just got done taking a couple swipes here and some popple saplings. Uh, anything from you know three quarter inch up to this is maybe two inch. Um, I'm uh, and we did this on standard flow again. So this is we're mowing here with about 20 to 21 gallons per minute, 3,300 psi line pressure. Uh, I'm impressed with how quickly it mowed popple compared to that English buckthorn. It cuts way easier. Not only is it a softer wood, but uh, it cuts cleaner when the blade hits. It has less tendency to to, uh, to bend over. So uh, we cut down several trees here and kind of mulched them up into smaller pieces and it didn't take any time at all. So I, I think we did both these swipes here in just a couple minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with how it's working on standard flow. We're gonna switch over to high flow now and hit a few more trees here. There's a couple here that look like they're up to three inch. And just to show you the difference in how it compares performance wise. So let's get back to it. So we just got done mowing down some uh, larger popple trees here. This time I ran it on high flow. So we're talking about 30 gallons per minute. We get a lot higher tip speed there so it cuts uh, faster and cleaner. Just to give you an example of one of the trees we cut down here. Uh, this is about approximately a four inch popple tree. Um, you know up where I cut it here was three to four inches. And then I, the, the few other ones here I had down, I, you just uh, go over the top of them and you back drag and you can mulch them up into smaller bits. Uh, the, the more you go forward and backwards and back drag, the smaller you can get the chunks cut down. But a lot of people that are just knocking trees over or making a trail, it's not a big deal to leave some debris. So it's up to you how much you want to mulch uh, the, the bits to get a finer cut. Um, usually once or twice over is all you need. So uh, overall, I've been really happy with the performance of this mower on low flow and high flow. Okay, so we just took a few swipes through this uh, heavy brush area. Uh, it's grass and brush, it's pretty thick. Uh, you can see the good job that it does on high flow here, running 31 gallons per minute. This is just one pass. It's really rough in here, so I gotta slow down. The, the Kubota with wheels is uh, really, it's, it's more unstable than a track machine, so I gotta slow down to kinda keep control. But uh, it's doing a really good job on the first pass. You can see how well it's doing. Uh, what we're gonna do now is mow a couple of these English buckthorn bushes. This is some of the toughest wood we have around here in Minnesota. And uh, the, uh, there's a big one here and a uh, bigger one behind it. So we're gonna knock these over and then mulch them up. And you can see the difference uh, between mulching something tough and mulching something softer like a softwood or like a, like a popple tree. So uh, we're gonna hit this one first and then we'll go right into the second one. So let's get to it.
Okay, so we just finished uh, mowing another buckthorn clump. Uh, this time we did it on high flow. So with this skid steer, it's about 30 gallons per minute. And again, we're working with about 3,300 PSI line pressure. Um, I could tell right away that it was mowing faster. I would say overall we mowed this whole clump here in maybe uh, two thirds of the time as we did in, on high flow or low flow. Got done cutting a few more swipes here on high flow. It definitely works better on high flow because that higher tip speed is cutting cleaner. Uh, something I wanted to point out, uh, when I came back here, I did not want to mow down this pine tree. And uh, so this feature here, the cutout deck is really nice because you can see this point from the cab. And so you can get that point really close to an object that you don't want to mow, but everything inside of it will be pulled in and be mowed. So this is a point that you look at a lot from the cabs. You want to make sure they have good visibility to that point of the mower because that's where you're going to uh, sneak past an object that maybe you don't want to mow or don't want to hit like a rock or, or a post or something. So this feature here, the cutout, is really nice for uh, getting into things that are a little bit thicker, a little bit taller, uh, and being able to uh, make blade contact easier. So something to look for in mowers.